let's talk about a general problem-solving strategy. So what we want to do today is talk about how do we look at a story problem and turn it into a math problem that we can solve. And so we're going to outline a very general strategy. And the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to read the problem. This sounds funny, but I find all too often that my students will go through and try and solve a story problem and they say, oh, I recognize this, and they jump right at the answer, and they get in there and they do it, and they find their answer on the test, and they write it down, and they box it, or they circle the multiple choice answer, and a lot of the time, they miss the question. By not reading the problem carefully, they don't actually answer what was asked. They found the right model, they solved it correctly, but they give the wrong answer, and therefore they lose points. So the very first thing you have to do when you read the problem is you have to, or when you look at a story problem, is read the problem and you want to find what you're looking for. What's actually being asked? Identify, underline it. Do something. Identify what the question is. And most story problems, the question is going to be the very last statement. And you also want to find what you already what you know and what you don't know. So you want to be able to see is there some variable that they're hinting at? So once you've read the problem, you find out what you know, what you don't know, what numbers are given, what's a red herring, what do you actually need. The second thing that you do is you want to name your unknowns. Give them variable names. At this point, it's also quite helpful to find a model. And there's some specific models that we'll talk about. There's a direct translation model that we alluded to a little bit earlier. There's a mixture model where we're mixing two things together to form a third. There's what we call geometry and formula problems which require that you know the correct formula, but if you do, then it's just a matter of manipulating it from there. There's what we call uniform motion problems. And these are your cars, trains, planes, those types of problems. Miles per hour, kilometers per hour, kilometers per second all get used. And the last type of model that we're going to look at in this class is a work problem. And so by knowing what types of problems there are, or what models are out there, you can find that model, you can build a table, you can draw a picture. But this is where the pictures, tables, lists come in. This is where you create an equation, or more, depending on the problem and then solve it. Once we have our model, we then solve to find a solution. So whatever we came up with in step three, we then solve in step four. Step five is to check our answer, and it's always important to check the solution. Always, always, always important. A primary concern here is use a common sense check. If you want to know how long it takes to catch up to someone who's riding a bicycle in your car, and you end up with a negative time, it took you, you know, minus five minutes to catch up with someone, stop and think about that for a second. What does minus five mean? Is that even possible? 
do a common sense check and rule out answers that you found legitimately but just don't make sense due to the nature of the problem. And then when you're actually checked the answer and you know that it's right, you answer the question. You write it down on your paper, you box it, you write it in on the test so it can be found, you put it into the computer so that the computer can check it and make sure that you were right. But whatever it takes, make sure you make it clear what your answer is. And when you do step, step six, make sure you're checking against the question found in step one. And if you follow these steps, you'll be able to solve a lot of the equations and a lot of the story problems that are out there. So this is a general story problem strategy that can help you solve problems. And we'll allude to this again as we go.